I learned cooking from my grandmother. My grandmother was the daughter of a couple of Moroccan that moved from Morocco to Argentina, and she was born in Argentina. And my Turkish grandfather, he came to Argentina early in his, he was 16, 17, or something like that. And together, it's kind of cooking Moroccan and, and Turkish food. And she was a magnificent cook, a magnificent cook. And my grandmother's sister, which is kind of grandmother's aunt, she was also a very good cook. And uh, it came from there. Ready to put, put in the oven now. I'm uh, Gilad Brunatsky and I'm from Rosh Ein in uh, Israel. And you have uh, oh, then she clean it. <laughs> <laughs> I developed my recipes for many years. Some of it from reading, some of it from seeing, some of it from thinking, inventing. So for example, instead of a long barbecue that start early in the morning, putting the meat on the, on the coals and uh, only in the afternoon starting to eat because it's a very slow cooking on this. We put it in the oven for six hours at less than 100 degrees centigrade just to cook the, the meat. And only at the last part of it, we put it on a very strong fire.
We have the, the uh, caramelization and burning of, the, of this, which gives the special flavor of the meat. The, this is the vegetables? The recipe uh, came out from uh, my brain in the context of uh, my origins, uh, the, my Argentinian origins. <clears throat> I was uh, raised uh, on asado, making asado. Uh, which is a general name for barbecue in Argentina. So when we went for um, for uh, picnicking, then we prepared asado, uh, barbecue, put it on, you know, making fire, and then putting on the fire um, um, the parrilla, which is the part of the uh, metal that you put on and then making a lot of meat that's uh, I, I remember that doing many many times when I was a child I mean I wasn't doing it it's my parents and my uncle and it was fun Whenever you are having a kind of a important ceremony, it is combined with you must eat. Draußen ist es mir eigentlich so ziemlich egal, was ich äh, esse, aus Sache, es schmeckt mir. Und zu Hause ist man halt eher so traditioneller, also das, was die meisten chinesischen Restaurants gar nicht kennen eigentlich. sehr gerne ähm, japanische Anime, das sind Zeichentricksendungen und äh, dort wird das halt sehr oft gegessen. So sind wir halt ähm, auf dieses Gericht gekommen, also es sah wirklich extrem lecker aus. Also wollten wir es auch immer ausprobieren und ähm, wir haben dann ein bisschen im Internet recherchiert und so sind wir dazu gekommen. Ich habe thailändische und serbische Wurzeln und das Gericht, was wir gerade eben gegessen haben, Misoram-Suppe. 
war ähm, ursprünglich ähm, ein japanisches Gericht. Wenn man noch weiter in die Vergangenheit geht, ist sogar chinesisch, aber wurde von Japan übernommen. Das war wirklich mein allererstes Mal, dass ich ein so richtig japanisches Gericht selbst gemacht habe. Das war auch wirklich das allererste Mal, dass wir es gegessen haben und es war echt toll. Still, we are thinking, of course, of supplying food or the raw food, I would say, to people here or, or as an export. And it's also interesting and nice to see. And here you see also people from like 40 countries, I think, that are working here together, you know, all together, not only here, because we have several locations uh, for the nursery. And, uh, We have from all over the world people working together and if this would have been the example for peaceful life you could find it how people can live very peacefully 
Arabs, Jewish, religious, non-religious, uh, non-Jewish people, Thailand, and you know, it's a very good, uh, there is very nice friendship among everybody. My name is Doron, and I go the uh, animal. 300 sheep and uh, goat, 400 for uh, milk. I have a special uh, man. I came to work with the uh, people. I need the uh, animal to, to work because uh, it's people it, uh, not uh, say true and uh, in this world, animal is straight, and people are not straight. After the army, I beginning, and the, the experience uh, from the work. But uh, I uh, make a cheese. I go to France and Italy to to learn. The cheese is uh, the down and the water is up. I mix it uh, slowly, not fast, because this fast is uh, not, not good. I do ricotta. Also in England konnte ich mir den Käse im Laden kaufen. Das ging hier nicht. Naja, habe ich dann gedacht, da muss ich rauskriegen, wie das selbst herzustellen ist. Das indische Essen, was ich eigentlich am allerliebsten mochte, war das, was ich mal in Indien gegessen habe, was an den Bahnhöfen verkauft wurde, an den Straßenständen. Ich habe das Essen geliebt und ich bin auch nie krank davon geworden. Ich fand das genial. Ich 
Ich habe die indische Küche kennengelernt, als ich als au -pair in England war. Und da lernte ich, dass Curry eigentlich gar kein Gewürz ist, sondern ein Gericht. Und dass die Gewürze, die da reinkommen, das ist, was hier landläufig als Curry bezeichnet wird. Gewürze in der indischen Küche, die werden von Anfang an, also gleich am Anfang, in das Gericht reingetan, damit sie sich den Geschmack voll entfalten können. Und erst dann, wenn das mit den Zwiebeln und Ingwer und Knoblauch zusammen mit den Gewürzen angebraten wird, kommt eigentlich so das Gemüse dazu. Nein, die Engländer hatten, also Indien war ja eins von deren Kolonialländern, sind dann ja aufgrund der Commonwealth auch viele Leute nach England gekommen, um da zu leben und halt auch viele Leute aus Indien. Und äh, mit denen ist auch die Küche nach äh, England gekommen. Und es wird auch gesagt, dass äh, das Engl ein englisches Nationalgericht, das erste, das Lieblingsgericht aller Engländer, ist eine indische Curry, eine äh, Hühnercurry. selbst noch nie indisches Essen gemacht und ich muss sagen, das war extrem lecker. Ich habe bis jetzt, ähm, ich habe jetzt nicht viel davon gehalten, ich habe es noch nicht probiert, aber es hat mich wirklich überrascht. Es war wirklich sehr lecker und äh, es gab so viele verschiedene Geschmacksvariationen und so, das war wirklich das erste Mal, dass ich sowas probiert habe und ich bin sehr, sehr überrascht davon. Aber vielen Dank. It's a family business, the, this uh, olive press. Uh, it's all uh, made by the family, from growing the trees to pressing the olive oil. Uh, and the tour guide, uh, they are also from, from the village. Like, I'm not just from the family, but we are friends uh, from, for a very long time. When there is a traumatic climate uh, in the area, all the trees sink together 
and then they become to uh, produce fruits uh, one year. A lot of fruits in one year, they are recovering themselves, uh, taking uh, some sources to make more, tri more fruits for the next year. Actually, with the olive oil, you can make everything. You know, you can cook and fry and bake and even cakes. Take the pita bread and uh, labana cheese with uh, olive oil and all together it's like the best meal. My parents are, uh, come from uh, Iraq, they have born there and uh, before uh, Israel established, they come here to, to Israel. The way my mother came uh, to Israel, I think it's a uh, very unique the Jewish agency. They help them to run away from uh, Iraq to Israel and uh, they put him in a big bag of sugar and they put them on a cart and they do it for maybe a few days and they, they, were, a, they were a group with a little child sometimes she cried and they have to stop and to, to make her be quiet so no one will uh, show them and after she, they, she came to, uh, to Persia, uh, she stayed there for at least one year, I think. And after that, she came to Israel. So it was a very, very long way and very complicated and dangerous way. My mom learned from her mom, but she was doing my father's mom sambusa. Yaman soup and uh, this one will be will be kubaniot. It's a uh, Yaman bread. My mom uh, born in Yemen and uh, I born in Israel, and we go on the tradition. For a lot of years, uh, we have just Yemen and the uh, India people, okay? But now it's mixed Yemen from everywhere. My, my roots are coming from uh, Eastern Europe, from the, uh, Russia and Ukraine. And when, I got when, when we got married, um, I just uh, discovered this uh, how, how tasty it is, the Iraqian food. She was working with uh, my brother-in-law together in the same office and uh, he told me about it. And then he decided that we, we, we can match and uh, you know, after that uh, just, yeah, it worked out.
family you know the uh, the proximal family but the, you know the extended family it's boy it's a lot of noise but again a lot of food everybody bringing uh, their parts and uh, it's very very good so it's fun friends around the table that I've really gotten to see. And I'm seeing the benders over there, our host, who requested that we stay with them again. So. 